Well, hello everybody. We are out here tonight. We're going to get some barbecue. Now, um, a lot of times the question comes up on some of the internet Facebook pages about the Smokies. What's the best barbecue in the area? Now, this area has a lot of good barbecue, but we've had none better than right here at Preacher Smokehouse. So, we're excited to be back here for our third time and our third review. And uh, we're going to go in here tonight and have some uh, good food, uh, we believe, and uh, always friendly service and in a beautiful setting. So, uh, let's go inside Preacher's and get some barbecue tonight. design there. Here is Preacher Smokehouse. You're about equal distance from Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, and Sevierville. A uh, little ways out in the country, but uh, good food and good service makes it worth it. We've always had that here. Uh, I want you to look at this beautiful view. you got a Mount Lecomte towering above the trees out there. So we're excited to be back here tonight. Have you ever been to the woodshed in Newport? No, but you know, somebody else just suggested that to us. You need to go. Uh, Is that yours too? No, they're friends at Irish. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, they're open at 9 o'clock. They're, fa they're, they're famous for their steaks. Yeah. Um, they do some amazing steaks, but they got, it's home cooking. Where's it at? It's in Newport. It's outside of Newport. It's on 321 or? On 321 or? Uh, Cosby Highway. So if you're in Newport and you're going out of Newport, uh, if you find Walmart. Yeah, we've been to that yeah, Walmart, yeah. If you go straight past Walmart, then you uh, It's about two miles out on the right. It's a gravel driveway and a big wooden sign. Uh, it says woodshed. It's in front of Newport where you're going. But you go up this hill and uh, it's a big restaurant. They seat over 100. Oh, wow. It's a nice place. Well, it's funny, yeah, that you mentioned that because we had just done a video the other night at uh, Cheddar's and somebody said you need to try the woodshed in Newport. So that was the first time we'd heard of it. Now, two days yeah. later, you're telling yeah, us that. All right, so after you place your order up at the table or up at the window, you walk in here. And, uh, we have one of those that goes okay. Um, I'll tell you what, you have the sweet smoky. I'm going to take these three and I'm going to give you a whole brand new bag. Photography on the walls. Mm -hmm. Folks, no sooner do we get in here and the food is out. So we both got the same thing tonight. I mean, right down to the sides and everything. That's a rarity. We got the beef brisket, which looks very good. Macaroni and cheese. The baked beans, which I remember loving the flavor of those beans last time. And banana pudding. So when we walked up, he remembered us being here and having a channel. Uh, very friendly. Sam met us at the window, took our order. All right, so dig into that beef brisket and tell us about it. 
say my spoon for the banana pudding. Good size portion there. Mm -hmm. Good as always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so tell us how that mac and cheese is. Nice and creamy. And you didn't, that must be so good, you didn't even need salt and pepper on it. I know, I hadn't got there yet. Uh -huh. I remember those beans having a very unique flavor. I remember really liking them. They are good. They're good in the bean tasting brown sugar and yeah. maple in them. Yeah, those are good. Okay, good deal. Okay, go ahead and try that. Macaroni and cheese first. Like you said, good and creamy, good and cheesy. Mm -hmm. Nice and hot. Yep. The beans. Oops. I probably should use a spoon for the beans, don't you guess? Yeah, probably, but I just want to save mine for the banana peel. Yeah, that sauce kind of goes <laughs> through the fork there. <laughs> Yeah, excellent flavor mm -hmm. on the beans. Yeah, I think they're really are they, good. Are these different sauces? Yeah, uh, one's a traditional, which is the one, that one there. Then you have the meat. And that's hot. I think that one must be some type of sweet, I'm assuming. That's what I got, the one on the very right. So I'm going mostly traditional here. With just a little bit of heat. Warm it up just a little bit. So. Right on. Yep. Very good. All right. We're going to enjoy our meal. We also do want to make you aware that uh, there's an outdoor seating area and it's covered. Uh, we actually ate outside one time. I'm not sure if it was covered then. I don't think it was. But uh, it is now. So you can stay out of the sun if it's hot. Or maybe if it's not hot, you can get in the sun there on that corner. So anyway, uh, let's do our clothes out. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Well, we just finished up here at Preacher Smokehouse. Now, um, just to kind of give you an idea of, I don't know how to tell you to get here from uh, Severable, but uh, from Gatlinburg, we go out from our motel, which is out 321 on the parkway anyway, and we turn right out of our motel and we go out to what is it, Buck something? Buckhorn Buck Mountain. Buck it's Horn actually Mountain. Highway 454, okay. if that helps you. And we just turn left there and drive several miles, and once you pass the intersection, you'll see a family dollar on your right. You're going to go several miles. There'll be a family dollar, I'm sorry, on your left, and then a gas station. And you'll see a road there that goes back into Pigeon Forge. If you just keep going past that and take the next right, He's right here on the left. So, um, anyway, we just got done eating. We both got the same thing this time, which is rare uh, as far as the sides and everything, exactly the same. Yeah, I placed my order and he goes, I'll have the exact same thing as her. Yeah, uh, so anyway, um, we both got the uh, brisket tonight. Now, we've had the burnt ends and the ribs. Everything we've ever had is good. Uh, the burnt ends are something that I would recommend you try. They're unique in that they're pork burnt ends. They're not from the brisket, they're pork. And I admit, the first time I got them, I was skeptical, but I, I really enjoyed them. They Just are good. Today, I wanted the brisket, so uh, we went ahead and got that. And you can actually get a combo if you want to try more than one thing. Mm -hmm. So, the uh, one is very filling. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We're both leaving here full. So we each got uh, the beef brisket, the um, macaroni and cheese, the beans. And, and a banana pudding. <clears throat> and a banana pudding and sweet tea mm -hmm. to wash it down. Now, I will make a recommendation here. This is what I do. I like a little bit of meat in my beans, so I take just a, a spoonful or two of the brisket and I put it in the beans and stir it around. That really, really uh, makes it good, so. Yeah, I just dump my beans in my yeah. plate and mix it all in. So, yeah, I just want to say a couple of things. Uh, it, I think he told me one time before that he's about 12 minutes from Sevierville, 12 minutes from Pigeon Forge, and 12 minutes from Gatlinburg. So he's kind of out here in the country, beautiful surroundings. You can just Very see pretty. Mount LeConte behind us right there. Um, just beautiful you're you're out of town and believe me the traffic that was in town today i'm glad to get out of town uh, this mm -hmm. is <clears throat> this is a, a great relaxing um what's the word change from the pace earlier yeah so um a lot of times uh the question comes up on a lot of the facebook pages what's the best barbecue in the area 
and I just want to say that there's there's a lot of good ones um, but we love coming out here uh, you always get personable service uh, yeah, there's definitely. never been a time we've been here at Sam hadn't come around and not just talk to us but talk to all the, the guests just to you know see where they're from uh, let them know he appreciates them coming out I also want to mention that he uh, it's called Preacher Smokehouse for a reason brother Sam Steele is a preacher of the gospel uh, they are only open Thursday Friday and Saturday out here and that's because on Sunday uh, they have church in the very building that you just saw us eating in they have church services and Wednesday nights and Wednesday night Bible studies so um, he also has done a lot of disaster cooking for you know when uh, places or areas that, like when the fires hit here in 2016 he was talking about doing different fundraisers too for yeah, people in they, the area. He does fundraisers, yes, for people who are uh, have undergone some sort of misfortune in their life. So um, I'm just going to say there is absolutely no reason I can think of to not come out here and give this place your business. Um, it's run by a great guy, uh, and uh, he's always good using his business the right way um, and living his life the right way and, and trying to honor God and help people and um, makes good food on top of that. It's worth the drive out here. So I would recommend that you try this place if you have not. We wanted to come back and do a third review. It's been a while since our last one. There's some new subscribers. Maybe you haven't seen the other two. But we've been here three times and every time has been good. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back again. So do you have anything you'd like to no, add? I think you covered it good. Anything you didn't like today? No, everything was delicious. Okay. So once again, Preacher Smokehouse, uh, come out and uh, check this place out. And um, again, it's run by Brother Sam Steele. So just come out here and um, let him know you appreciate what he does. And uh, you'll get some good food on top of it. So if you like this video, like and subscribe. And find and follow us on Facebook. And have a blessed day.